All right, September is National Preparedness Month, and that means having your family ready for emergency, and that also includes your pet. Our pet vet, Sandy Norman, is here to help us. Now, Hoosiers were recently tested with the tornado in Kokomo. Sandy, many pets ended up in a shelter after this storm. So we're going to start talking about how we can prepare for a disaster like this. Yes, and it's, it's very important. And, and prepare this month is for your family, and we just want you to include your animals, whatever that is, in your family, because some of the pets got stuck in their homes, had to go back and be retrieved, had to be housed for a while. So nobody knows when these things are going to happen, whether it's a medical emergency, yeah. a fire, a flood, a tornado. So we would like you to have your family, and that includes your pet ready. And when we, all, we, you know, we always, uh, when I do school talks, mm -hmm. I always say be prepared, not scared. So what should we have in our kit? Okay, so I always tell people to use a bag you already have, okay. your reusable joystick, and just dedicate it to your pet. And one of the most important things is a Ziploc beer because it has your medical records, their medication, anything they take on a regular yeah. basis. And you can keep it in there all the time because if you're going to get medicine, you just take out the Ziploc sure. bag. So it's always there. And so then you always want to have food ready for them. And, uh, and water, and then you want to have an appropriate carrier with a leash or collar. Now, this okay. is for a cat. That's fine, sure. but have a, the, they make nice collapsible ones for dogs, too, so have one that's appropriate for your size. It's a great thing for them. And then get them used to being in the car, too. If they've never been in the car, that's, you're going to have to leave. You're going to have to leave with your car. But have a way to capture them, put them in their carrier, or have them on leash and be able to get them in the car. Anything that you think they would need for about 72 hours, maybe okay, up to five days. Yeah. So food, water, medication, medical records, a carrier, a toy to keep them busy. If you end up in a shelter, they're going to need something to chew on. So their favorite toy is one of those yeah. things. And the leash collar. And then the most important thing is identification. And some people, that's a tag, but we like microchips because we can read those microchips. So it's really important that you as a personal family be prepared. But then the other thing is your neighborhood, too. And if you want to be part of that, it's preparedness isn't just for you, but it's for everybody. So if you have a neighborhood association or community association, join up with them and do preparedness for your neighborhood. Yeah, that's a great point. I yeah. always say if you have a pet, you know, maybe have two kits in yeah. the event that you need to help out your neighbor. That's as well. right. And you get together and do these preparedness things together. Sure. And that's a great thing. And then if you really want to be part of it if you're all prepared and you need to be prepared you can be a volunteer too for like community emergency response teams or animal response teams and so if you're really into it there's a number of avenues where you can help the community be prepared because a prepared community is more resilient it responds right. you can see they respond and they get back to normal much more quickly so okay. preparedness is great for everybody uh, mom dad kids and pets too <laughs> all right well who can our community uh, adopt today oh yeah. we always have things to adopt i think the cat is first this is chibi Chippy's an eight-year-old like female. The name. She's a little shy, so she probably isn't <laughs> a good place for dogs or kids. She's a little shy and needs to warm up to you. But if you can give Chippy home, and then here's Axel. Axel's nice. a two-year-old. He would actually be a great dog for just about anybody. Love He's it. a young dog, and they're available at the Humane Society of Indianapolis. All to right. adopt. We always appreciate you coming in here, Thank uh, Sandy. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. Neil?